All right, guys, once again, it is Saturday night, and as always, I am so very excited for tonight's movie. This time, it is mainly because right now, they are in the process of filming Beetlejuice Part 2. Before it got crazy and dramatized like every Facebook group does, I was in a Facebook group about Beetlejuice 2, and they were showing us all these little videos and pictures and things that were going on building the set, the house, the bridge, all kinds of stuff in a little town called East Corinth, Vermont. Is it East Corinth? I think it's East Corinth. Guys, it is so exciting. I love behind the scenes stuff. And to see Tim Burton on scene, getting this stuff all ready, it's a Halloween theme. They had the whole town decorated with things like hay bales, Halloween decorations, lamp posts with pumpkins on top, you know, typical Tim Burton stuff. So we already know for a fact that Beetlejuice 2 is going to take place at least at some point in the movie around Halloween, and that already gets me so excited, I can't even believe it. So tonight, we are going back in time, and we are going to watch Beetlejuice Part 1. Now, it's not even called Part 1 because it's just the original movie, and Part 2 is not even out yet. But guys, tonight we're watching Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton is so funny in this movie, I cannot even imagine anyone else ever playing the part of Beetlejuice. Now, before we even get started, guys, there's something I have to do to make this movie night the best that it can possibly be. You see this M&M guy back here? He's got to go because he is being replaced with this guy. That's right. The official Beetlejuice animatronic from Spirit Halloween. Just like on the cover of the DVD, he is sitting on a headstone in the cemetery with the classic Beetlejuice look on his face. Now I'm gonna give you a quick look at what it took to put him together, but if you wanna see the whole video, I'm gonna cut out right now, and I'm gonna make a completely separate video of putting him together. So it will be on this channel, and it'll probably be up by the time you see this video. So in just a minute, we're gonna cut to that, but first we need to talk about the snack that we are gonna have tonight. Now you would think that we're simply gonna take like some green, Mountain Dew, maybe some plastic beetles, toss them in there and make Beetlejuice. But that would be too simple. What we're gonna make tonight, guys, is Beetlejuice sandworms. <laughs> now, I actually, at this moment, do not know how we're gonna make that, so you're gonna have to come along with me while we figure it out. I have an idea. I actually have two ideas. Two and two makes four. That's not four ideas. I have two ideas, and I really like the one idea the best, so I think we're gonna go with it, but you're just gonna have to come along and see what we come up with. For now, I'm gonna go put that guy together, and then we're gonna get on with tonight's awesome episode of Saturday Night Snack in a Movie. But first... Who's ready to Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Wow, guys, I just got done putting him together. Check that out. I want to show you a little bit of what he does, and then we're going to put him right over here in the corner. In fact, let's get him in the corner first. Yes, look at him, guys. Look how cool he looks sitting right there. How awesome is this movie night going to be with him right there and Beetlejuice playing on the big screen right there. Now, like I said, if you want to see the whole video of putting him together, and chances are you've already watched it because I'm going to have it up before I have this one up, but you can just look back through my videos and you will find it, the whole video of putting him together. But look at this. I love how it's the same stance as on the movie and on the uh, the box art. Like right here, he's sitting on top of the headstone. And the difference is that this headstone here says, Here Lies Beetlejuice. 
And this one that he's sitting on actually has like some shaking hands. Um, but look at him. Look how cool that is. This is easily one of my very favorite props that I own now. He was well worth the money. He's so well built. He says so many phrases straight from the movie. It's not like a cheesy version of him saying the phrases too. It sounds exactly like Michael Keaton. So let me just give you a quick look at him right here and then we're gonna hear some of his phrases. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? He has like all the moss on his head, the messed up hair, the black eyes. Look at his teeth. His teeth are pretty white. I don't think he needs the Aquafresh. He's got the striped outfit. His arms are up. He's sitting on the headstone. How cool is that, guys? That is so awesome <laughs> and gets me so excited about watching the movie tonight. So I have his sensor on, so as soon as I walk up to him, he's going to start talking. Thank you. That is why I won't do two shows tonight anymore, babe. I won't. I won't do. Hey, these aren't my rules. Come to think of it, I don't have any rules. <laughs> <laughs> He's so hilarious. I tend to truly are. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. And the ghost with the most mean. He is so awesome, guys. I highly recommend this animatronic right here to anybody who's considering getting him. Let's hear one more. So, say it once, say it twice, learn down the charm, just say it. It's showtime. <laughs> All right, yeah, like I said, go watch the other video if you want to see the full uh, build of him and hear all his sayings. Easily one of my favorite animatronics ever now. So let's go ahead out and we'll um, figure out how we're going to do this snack tonight. We are going to make sandworms. I don't know how we're going to do it yet, but we're going to do it. Guys, before we move on, don't forget to get your very own Saturday Night Snack and a Movie t-shirts available right now on the brand new merch website, thatnateguystuff.com. These shirts are printed by me, signed by me, and shipped by me, so you're getting Nate merch straight from Nate. All right, guys, we are at Giant Eagle right now, and there are so many options we could use to make sandworms. Ah, oh, these look like delicious sandworms. <laughs> you could literally just get some white cream sticks and put black stripes on with other frosting, and it would be so Beetlejuice. Mmm, here's a giant sandworm. <laughs> here's a sandworm. Can you guys tell I'm hungry? Hello, sandworm. You guys remember the scene where they're sitting around the table singing Deo? They actually had shrimps in cocktail sauce, which then turned into monster hands. Hello, sandworms. Like, everything in here could be a sandworm. In fact, my first idea was to use hot dogs and then use the Pillsbury uh, crescent rolls, wrap it around there, and form it like a sandworm. Oh heck yeah, look at these jumbo shrimp. That's more like what they were eating. Hello, sandworm. Hello, sandworms. Ooh, these are frozen sandworms. So instead of doing the uh, hot dog and crescent roll idea, I thought we would keep it a little simpler. Uh, I just said simple and I'm already trying to make things more difficult. Anyway, some simple sandworms. What the heck? Taco logs. Oh my gosh, those look absolutely delicious. Oh, Southwest chicken taquitos, taco seasoned beef and cheese taquitos. Any of these could be sandworms, even the beer battered cheese sticks. Holy crap, I am so hungry. I should have eaten something before I came out here. Anyways, this is what I'm looking for right here, guys. 100% beef corn dogs. Now you can use these, or you could even use these down here these mini corn dogs, like corn dog bites, to make mini sandworms, but I think we're gonna stick with the classic corn dogs. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with them when we get home. What in the world? What are these things made of gold? Whole cloves, this tiny little thing, $11. I don't think so. We need some sandworm eyes, but I ain't about all that. What in the world? Oh my gosh, I guess this is what you get when you come to Giant Eagle. Six 
dollars for these sandworm eyes. No thanks. I'm pretty sure I have ketchup at home. Wait a minute, what in the world? Look at this Heinz tomato blood. Ooh, very Halloween-y. I think I have some ketchup at home, but what I was really wanting was ketchup in a bottle like this that we'd be able to just kind of use that tip there and, uh, and draw some lips on. Hello, sandworms. So if you were looking for a sweet snack also and you wanted something simple, I was curious what they would have in the Little Debbie section, and they don't disappoint. Look at this, we have two options of zebra cakes, white with black stripes, just like Beetlejuice. Oh yeah, buddy, you're coming home with me. Hello, sandworms. Hello, extra long sandworms. All right, I think we're just gonna go with what we got, guys. I have some eyes and ketchup at home, and I got the eyes from the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. Ah, oh, chocolate-covered sandworms. So I know I said I was gonna make it simple, but I can't stand it. When I saw this goblet in the store, I knew I had to make it a black and white striped Beetlejuice goblet. <laughs> Guys, we are getting ready to make this snack here. I just got to show you though. Look at this. It is raining outside. It is dark. It is spooky. It is the perfect night to be watching a movie like Beetlejuice. I'm getting in that hot tub later too. Anyways, okay, let's go in here and talk about how we are going to make these sandworms. So here's our goblet, the finished goblet. I don't know why I wanted to make that. I just saw it sitting there in the cart, in the clearance cart. And I thought that would make a perfect Beetlejuice goblet for movie night. Here's our movie, Beetlejuice on 4K. And I realized we have options here, guys. The first thing that I thought specifically to make these sandworms was the State Fair corn dogs. Now, my plan with these is basically just to cook them and then kind of cut around the hot dog on the front and make it like the sandworm's face and like the tip of the hot dog sticking out is the other sandworm that's coming out of its mouth. But then I realized I also bought the Little Debbie Zebra Cake Rolls. We can make a sandworm out of this. We kind of got into them already, so there's only three left. <laughs> but we also have these eyeballs we can use, and they would work much better on the Zebra Cake Rolls. I don't know what was up with Giant Eagle charging $6 for these things, but if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that I get these all the time at the Dollar Tree for a buck 25. So anyways, let's do this. Let's go ahead and stick a couple of these in the oven, let them heat up, and meanwhile, we'll work on our sandworms with the zebra cake rolls. You know what, actually, we got two of them here. I'm not gonna use the oven because it's already hot enough out there. If you want to make yours in the oven, you can, but just for display purposes, I'm going to go ahead and stick these in the microwave. You can't just cut them up already because they're frozen, but we can in about 30 seconds to a minute. Meanwhile, we will get out. Let's use the green plate. I really like that color. Oh, and it kind of matches the Beetlejuice logo on there. We've got three zebra cakes, so we're going to use those. This is probably the easiest way ever to make a sandworm snack. So we're gonna unwrap each of these and we are gonna keep this super simple just by cutting a little bit off of each end, putting them together just like this, round it off a little bit, and then we're gonna give him some eyes. And there is the simplest Beetlejuice sandworm ever made. <laughs> Look, this is hilarious. He even has a mouth. What the heck? That was totally unplanned. 
Okay, let's move him aside for a minute and break out the corn dogs. Now, the whole idea, you gotta let these cool down a little bit first, but the whole idea behind this is to create the sandworm's face. That's kind of tough to cut. This is gonna be interesting. Pull that part off. I guess we could cut it even a little deeper because you want that hot dog like sticking out a little bit because that's supposed to be the other sandworm's face poking out. So we'll start back here. Okay, I'm glad we came up with the backup plan because <laughs> this is just not working with the corn dogs. That just looks wrong right there. Okay, scrap the corn dog idea and we will keep the cutesy little black and white striped sandworm from Beetlejuice made from Little Debbie tiger striped cakes. Well, even though those didn't work, I'm still going to eat them because you can't only have the snack of one small cake sandworm. And even though that was a failure, we do have our awesome Beetlejuice striped goblet. And I, I love this thing. Our very cute white and black striped sandworm with a little face there. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am going to take my very easy sandworm snack, bundle up on the couch with some pillows and blankets, and kick back and watch Beetlejuice in 4K. Guys, look at this room. Is this not the most awesome movie night ever? Make sure you subscribe, get you some shirts, and hang around because every Saturday night it's another Saturday Night Snack in a Movie.